Hey there, John Ross here. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Paint Like a Feminist. Kept you waiting, huh? So if this is your first time joining us, I'd cordially like to invite you to hop on the next thing smoking and hightail it out of Texas. Kind of like Democrats did and having to vote in the Congress where they're vastly outnumbered, where Republicans want to push for stricter voting laws to help protect the sanctity of the elections. But no, we can't have that. Instead, we have to whine about filibusters and global warming and mask mandates, and yet every single one of those Democrats are just on that plane and gone. What would Greta Thunberg do? Queer, queer, queer. So we have a special episode for you this time. I had some inspiration from a, a certain famous Biden painter. Took a file right out of his laptop, so I'm going to be painting this next work of art with a penis. And then I mentioned I smoked some crack right before doing this and had a prostitute give me a foot job. She had some, some really big feet. It made me feel kind of, kind of small. Said she lifted weights in women's Olympics. I think it was a guy. All right, so for this style of painting, it's something all new to me. I've never done it before, but we're gonna take our happy little canvas and the only tools we're gonna to need are our Andy Dandy penis. It's a little cold in there. Oh, there it is. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take our canvas and we're just gonna put it right here in front. And let's get started. So the first color we're gonna be using is Communist red, so let's uh, go ahead and get that started. Ah, yeah, you gotta make sure your aim is good. You wanna get it all over that small little space there. Let's go ahead and apply it on the canvas. There's nothing like having uh, some communism overseas and Democrat socialists like AOC and Bernie Sanders. They just got pretty quiet, didn't they? And all you people out there saying you support Cuba, especially your liberals, I kinda like that, but oh, that's cold. I kind of like that part where you're you're posting about supporting them and then you say that you're with them on social media, but you know what they need more than ever than your stupid little posts that do virtually nothing? Guns. They need guns. The very same things that you try and come against Republicans on are the very same things they need to fight against a system of government that you support. How stupid can you really be? But then again, you voted for people like AOC and Hunter Biden. I mean, I'm sorry, Joe Biden and Kamala fucks her way to the top Harris and imprisons more minorities than anybody else out there and yet you claim to be all for the uplifting of minorities and then turn around and again elect a rich white liberal. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, that's cold too. <laughs> Moving on. You want to make sure we get all the spots there. You don't want to miss anything and you know while we're at it I kind of whatever happened to those Fauci emails. Those things busted out there like Tess Holliday in a two-piece bathing suit and man, CNN and all MSM just kind of look the other way. <laughs> the part where he admits that masks didn't work and the virus is actually developed in a Wuhan lab in China, kind of like Trump was saying. China. <laughs> but he was a xenophobe for that, yeah. But come to find out, it's, it's the truth. And, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Now we got that, uh, that new Delta strain of COVID coming out and basically say that you probably won't even know that you have it. I can't wait till we hit the Zulu strain so we can be through the alphabet and be done with this stupid pandemic. I mean, come on, seriously. How dumb do people have to be? We shut down an economy, ruined millions of people's lives for a death toll where the numbers are actually fudged and the government admits that they may have gotten a few things wrong, but being that we're all sheep and we just fall in line with the herd, we're just gonna bow our way to a, a vaccination attempted to be forced on our nation's military by clowns in uniforms such as Miley and the rest of them trying to understand white rage. You know what white rage is? When you're telling us that we're so mad and we're not, but you keep telling us we're mad and eventually we do get mad. It's basically like you created the same monster that you're wanting to fight against. And by the way, Lloyd Austin, you're a black supremacist and we all know it. Lloydy Roydy Roydy who? You're a racist, not because you're black, but because the content of your character and you feel like you're trying to suppress white people. It's kind of like why you had the stand down in the military looking for extremists. And yet you couldn't even label what those extremists were, but then you had the Sergeant Major of the Army come out there and go after Tucker Carlson. And, you know, he's been really quiet after that because basically people like me and other veterans with large social media followings 
essentially crucified him because you broke freaking army regulations. But what do you expect when you have liberals in uniforms pretending to be leaders and you lack the balls to actually do the job? Well, if I pointed that camera down about four inches, you'd actually see a pair. <laughs> Covered in paint, but still. And the next color we're gonna be using is BLM black. Because, you know, we're just not gonna leave those Marxists alone. Let's go ahead and add that in there. Ooh, yeah, right there on the tip, there we go. Let's get started. Ah, that feels good. How about that, that George Floyd mural that was struck by lightning? It's almost like God's way of telling you that even he didn't want that piece of shit in heaven who robbed a pregnant woman at gunpoint and had enough fentanyl in his system to uh, kill Charlie Sheen. And Yeah, but for some reason he's still a martyr. Or maybe it could be because the cop was wrong, but him being wrong didn't make Floyd a good person. I mean, after all, he literally robbed the store that he got pinned in front of, but because he died, that somehow makes him a good person? Maybe it's why the BLM isn't taken so seriously anymore because your martyrs are fake martyrs. And now God's striking down the statues that he doesn't want. <laughs> oh man, and it was free. How many millions did these Democrat cities pay to have like Robert E. Lee removed? Ah, <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Just wrapping my penis all up in that BLM. Oh God, yeah. Mm. Trigger me timbers. <laughs> So before we go ahead and end this episode, I kind of want to take a quote out of the, the bumbling Biden Bible. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. You know, the, the thing. Joe Biden. You know, it's kind of funny how people said that when people were attacking him for saying that he had dementia or was showing onset signs of dementia, all you liberals rushed to his aid and said, oh no, he's had a stuttering problem his entire life. But it's weird if you, if you go back and you, you look at his days where he's addressing Congress and pushing his racist legislation that he wants to support so much, not a single stutter out there. Clear as day. Weird. Now let's go ahead and do a little reveal on this bad boy. And said it was going to be very big. John Ross here. If you'd like to purchase any of my paintings that I've done in previous videos that we still haven't sold yet, you can visit my website shellshockcbd.com and you can pick up the paintings there. They're listed for a very reasonable price, nothing close to what Hunter Biden's charging, but hey, think of it this way. It's paintings without the STDs. You're welcome. Tap that link below to get to our website and come support a veteran-owned and American-made company. Thank you.